Code Explained says hi. Today we're going to learn how to deploy a React app to a VPS. So an Ubuntu server with Nginx web server. And this is going to be a step-by-step -step guide. And the first step is going to be creating a React.js app. Well, if you already have a React app that's ready for deployment, you can just skip this step. If you don't, let's go and create a new React app. So I'm going to go and open a terminal. I'm on Windows 10, by the way. So I'm going to go and CD into my desktop. And then I'm going to run npx create react app. I'm going to call my app, my app. I'm going to hit enter. This will take a while. So I'm just going to go and speed up this. All right, now I'm going to go and clear this and then CD into my new created project. Uh, and now I'm going to go and open this project in my VS code. So I'm going to type in code dot and then hit enter. So now here is my app. Now I'm going to go and start my app. So I'm going to run npm start. So here is my app. Now I'm just going to go and do some like uh, changes to this app. So like I'm just going to go and change the logo here. So I'm going to replace it. Let's take a look. And there it is. I'm just going to go and change this text. Let's say strong. So code explained and then it says hi. I'm also going to change this link. So let's say youtube.com and then code explained. Now after I have done all the changes I want, it's time to deploy our app. So let's go and move to the next step. And now it's time that I push my new React app to a GitHub repository. So I'm going to go to my GitHub account and create a new repository. I'm going to call this my React app. I'm going to click on create repo. And now I'm going to go back to my terminal and say git add all and then git commit. I'm going to add a message that says first commit. And then I'm going to go back to my uh, to here and I'm just going to go and copy this lines of code. So I'm going to go here and then paste them in, hit enter and wait. So I'm going to go back now to my repo and then refresh. And now my React app has been successfully pushed to my GitHub repo. And now let's go and move to the next step. And now it's time to go and create a VPS. But if you already have one, you can skip this step. So I'm going to go and choose Hostinger as my VPS provider. You can go and choose any provider out there, you're free. Uh, if you're using Hostinger, you go to Hosting and then click on VPS Hosting. Now you're going to click on Start Now, choose a plan, and then choose a period, and then create your account. You can either do that by using your email or one of your accounts here. Then select a payment method, and then here, click on Have a Coupon Code, and type in this coupon, Code Explained. Then click on this button and the coupon code will be applied and you're going to get a discount. Now fill in your credentials and click on submit secure payment and your VPS will be created. As soon as you do that, we'll be ready to go to the next step. And now it's time to log into our VPS. So I'm going to go here and log in into my uh, hosting your account. And then on the VPS, I'm going to go and click on manage to manage my VPS. 
So here, this is my server status and some other settings. So here, the operating system I'm going to be using is Ubuntu. So you can go and choose Ubuntu from this list and click on save changes, but be careful because if you change the operating system, you're going to destroy all your current data. So now to actually connect to our server, we're going to use SSH. And for that, we're going to use an SSH client for Windows, which is Buddy. So you can go and download it from this link. For me, I'm just going to go and open it. And here it says the IP address of our server. So I'm just going to go and copy that and then paste it in and click on open. Now it says login as, so we're going to go and login as root. So I'm going to say here root and I'm just going to go and make the font a little bit bigger. So appearance, then change then 16 pixels. Okay. And apply. And we're good. Now for the password here, I'm going to go and like generate a new password. So suggest a strong password and I'm going to go and copy this. So here I'm basically changing the root password. So I'm going to click on save changes. And wait, now the root password was changed. I'm going to go back to body. So here the password to like paste in the password we copied. You can either do that by right click with your mouse or you can press shift and insert at the same time on your keyboard and then hit enter. And now we've successfully logged into our server. Now let's move on to the next step. And now in this step, I'm going to go and install Nginx web server. So by default, the web server installed here is Apache. So if I go and say system control and then status and then Apache, you can see that Apache service is running. So what we need to do before installing Nginx web server is removing Apache 2. So we don't get any conflict between the two. So I'm going to go and clear this and then I'm going to first go and say system control and then stop Apache 2. And now after stopping Apache 2, I also need to like disable Apache 2 service. So the next time Apache services won't be automatically run on boot time. So I'm going to disable Apache service. And now I can go and say apt remove Apache 2. And say yes. And then I'm going to clear this. Now we have removed Apache uh, from our server and now we need to install Nginx but first we need to like say apt clean all to clean the old repository and the second thing is update our repository to load latest packages information so I'm gonna say apt update and the third thing is apt dest upgrade and this will perform a full upgrade to upgrade all the installed packages now i'm gonna go and clear this out and now it's actually the time to install nginx server so i'm gonna run apt install nginx and hit enter i'm gonna say yes now our web server Nginx has been successfully installed. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and go to this IP address using my web browser. So I'm going to hit enter and now you can see this page here, which is the Apache 2 default page, which is the server or the web server we've been using and we removed it and now we're running Nginx. So why this happening? So if I go and cd into var, then www, then html, which is the default 
public folder for both Apache 2 and Nginx. So if I hit enter and then list the files inside, uh, we find two HTML files, the index.html, which is this page here, and there is this index.nginxdb in that HTML file, which is the default page for Nginx web server. So if I go here and go to that file, you can say here, welcome to Nginx. So we are running Nginx web server here, not Apache. So Apache has been removed. And now I'm going to go and install Node.js. So I'm going to run apt install Node.js. So I'm going to say yes. And now I'm going to go and install a, so install npm, node package manager. I'm going to say yes. Now I'm going to go and install git. Yes. All right. Now let's clear this out. I'm going to go and CD into home and I'm going to create a folder called react projects. So I'm going to CD into my react projects folder. And here I'm going to use git to clone the repo, our repo. So I'm going to go to GitHub and then code and then copy this link here. So I'm going to go back to body and then shift insert and then enter. Now I'm going to go and CD into my projects. So which is called my react app. And then I'm going to run npm install. So this will take some time. So we need to sit back and wait for it to complete. Now I'm going to go and clear this out and I'm going to run npm run build. So I'm going to hit enter. And now what I'm going to do is list the files inside my uh, folder. And now we have here this build folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and copy all the files inside the build folder to our public folder, which is var www.html. And I'm going to hit enter. Now, if I go and cd into var, then www, then html, I'm going to list the files and you can see that our files are all there. So now if I go to my web browser and then open again our IP address and I'm going to refresh and now you can see that our React app is live. So now anyone can access our app but using the IP address. So in the next step, we're going to learn how to link a domain name to a VPS. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and link this domain name to my VPS. So I'm going to make this domain name bound to my VPS. So I'm going to go into my DNS settings for this domain name first, and then I'm going to add an A record. So the host is going to be at, which is this domain name here. And it's going to be pounding to our server IP address. So I'm going to copy this and then paste it in here. So I'm going to hit save. And this may take up to 48 hours, but after two hours it's going to be working or less than that. So I'm going to go and copy this and then paste it in here. So I'm going to use HTTP and then hit enter. And now you can see that we can access our React app using this domain name. Now we also need our subdomain www.codexplain.org to be pounded into our VPS. So I'm going to go to my DNS management and I'm going to add an A record. So the host is www and this also will be pounded to our VPS 
IP address. So I'm gonna hit save and this will work, but we can simply do in the same thing using a C name, which is I prefer. So the host is gonna be www and then it's gonna be pound to add and I'm gonna hit save. Now, if anyone uses our www.codeexplain.org subdomain, it can find our app. All right, and now let's move on to the next step where we add an SSL certificate to use HTTPS protocol. So as you can see here, it says not secure. So the connection to our website is not secured. So if I try to go to HTTPS and hit enter, this will come with an error. So because we don't have an SSL certificate installed. So we need to install that and we're gonna use Let's Encrypt, which is free. So the first thing we're going to do is like install cert cert bot and also we need to install a module which is the nginx module for cert bot so it's gonna be python 3 then cert bot then nginx so i'm gonna hit enter now after the installation has completed I'm gonna go and add an SSL certificate to these domains. So I'm gonna use certbot and then nginx, our web server, and then the domain name is codeexplained.org. And the other domain name, which is actually a subdomain name, www.codeexplained.org. So, and I'm gonna hit enter, and I need to ask some questions here. So, it's like a configuration. For the email address, I'm gonna say code explained org at gmail, gmail, gmail.com. So, please read the terms, etc. So, I'm gonna say agree. And would you be willing to share your email? So no. Uh, now it's obtaining a new certificate. Waiting for verification. Now it says uh, to choose whether a redirect HTTP traffic to HTTPS or not. So we need to redirect HTTP traffic to HTTPS. So I'm gonna go for two and hit enter and congratulations. So your certificate and chain have been saved, etc. So now if I go back here and refresh, you can see now the icon here and it's say connection is secure. So we're done here. So if I actually go to here, it's also gonna be secured. If I try to remove HTTPS, and it's gonna be secured. It's gonna be redirected to HTTPS. All right, guys, now we have reached the end of our tutorial. Your app now is gonna be live and secure. So take care. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe and see you in the next tutorial.